Let's jump into the topics then. Um, like I said at the beginning, a lot of it's kind of centered around, um, there was a, a earnings report kind of thing that they do periodically, I guess quarterly uh, for Disney. A lot of stuff came out of that. Uh, one of them was that uh, a lot of the movie um, times have been shuffled around. So um, we now have three. So Rise of Skywalker comes out in December. That's it, like done. Um, but starting in 2022, so a few years away, um, there's going to be a new trilogy starting. 2022, 2024, and 2026. Um, don't know what it is yet. Um, there's two options, one more likely than the other one. Um, but alternating through those is going to be the next four Avatar films. That's a lot of Avatar. Um, yeah. But the right, but the Wait, trilogy, there's going to be five total Avatar movies. So there's four more on the way, alternating between the three um, Star Wars. So it'll be like um, Avatar, Star Wars, Avatar, Star Wars, like year after year. Yeah. That's a lot. Man. Well, that's a lot, yeah. And I guess it, it's taken them so long because they shot them all at once, like all the way through, just filming everything all at once. Yeah. Um, but there's two options. One, I think, is done. Uh, according to John Campia, he has some sources that said that Ryan Johnson is no longer doing his trilogy. Oh, good. Yeah, so on that. Um, Benioff and Weiss, who are the, the guys from Game of Thrones, yeah. They also have a trilogy in the works, uh, and it's said to be set in the Old Republic, as we've talked about uh, here in the past. So that one seems most likely. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, to me, that's the most likely option. You know what's funny, too? I, like When you mentioned uh, Benny, the, like the Dave and DB from uh, yeah. Game of Thrones, a lot of people have been giving them a lot of flack over season eight just because of how everything kind of – So. Yeah. Right now, they're not then like, like they went from being geniuses in everybody's minds to people being like, "What the hell are you doing?" So, uh, you know, hopefully, I think part of what's going on is just that they, they, I think, introduce too much story for for what they have to tie up. Um, so hopefully, with that trilogy, mm -hmm. they get at a good pace so that they can, um, you know, be able to. I mean, I, I'm enjoying Game of Thrones. I'm just saying, you know, what I'm, but yeah. I, um, but I, I'm I'm hoping that they just kind of. Uh, take it at a good enough pace that they can, you know, not really fall behind with everything that they're basically fall behind and have to tie things up really hastily. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm looking there, there's two episodes left for game of Thrones and there's a lot to wrap up, you know? Yeah. I mean, then they figure that, you know, having 80 minute episodes is going to go ahead and take care of it all, which I mean, who knows? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Um, I feel like, I feel like a lot of that sentiment is a couple of different things. I think that, on the one hand, yeah, like they're speeding through a lot of stuff that you know took years to develop, and all of a sudden it's just like, oh, it's over, just like that. Mm -hmm. But then on the other side of it too, though, I think uh, partially some of the resentment is that the show is ending. I think mm -hmm. With that, I, I think that I think that's why everyone's giving it such a hard time right now. Is that you know it's it's yeah it's it's moving a little quicker than people want, but right, it's, it's just it's it's just it's ending. I don't want to. Yeah, it's just like yeah. that's. These shows end, man. It's just an unfortunate part of you know. That's TV for you. But there, there's more on the way. There's going to be a prequel show, so yeah, you know, it's not like it's the end of it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's like there's three prequels. There's a lot of stuff that you can look forward to. Just you know, I I it just I just it makes me laugh how hard people have turned on it. You know, knowing that <laughs> yeah. and it's like really, it's just like this went from being the most anticipated show in television history. To now and, and being deemed the, you know the best show and uh, everything and everyone's like i can't believe what they're doing and this makes no sense and can't why believe there's a starbucks in westeros yeah it's just like, oh hey, that was hilarious yeah, right. i mean like that was kind of it's just like one of them deals is like you you stuck through it for this long and, 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 and wrote a lot <laughs> of it, and now it's just like no i don't like how it's i would like to see like the replay statistics for after that went viral Oh, so yeah. everybody, everybody went back and watched it again. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. said Starbucks got $11 million in free advertising from that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they also Somebody, I haven't done it, but one of my friends was saying that if you go back and watch the episode, they, they already not, cut it out. It's already yeah. gone from the mm -hmm. table. They went back, they edited it, and, and now it's just, you know, that whole that whole thing is not even there anymore. So Yeah. That's crazy. I, wonder, I wonder if they got, like, an emergency editor. Like he's got like a briefcase. He's like just wherever he's at, his briefcase goes off. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, got, it's like um handcuffed to his wrist, right? <laughs> like the football. Oh man, 
but there's really nothing in there. Just a beeper. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we'll, we'll see on that. But uh, for the Star Wars thing, um, you know, we, they were talking about a Kenobi movie, Boba Fett. Um, I don't know some other stuff, but a lot of that, Boba those Fett. ideas. Yeah. Boba Fett. They're going to do like a Boba Fett right. movie. Um, yep. But a lot of those have moved over to Disney plus, right? They're doing the Mandalorian. Um, they're doing other stuff. Obi-Wan. I think there's a, no, not Obi-Wan, but there's a couple of just like Star Wars things over there. So that leaves uh, the uh, Benioff and Weiss series and old Republic is a good, uh, we'll have to pull it out of, uh, out of legends. A lot of it, but mm-hmm. You know, once they do that, that'll make a lot of people happy that that's back to being canon again, you know? Yeah. So I'm excited for that. Uh, Leading up to uh, Rise of Skywalker, Marvel is doing um, a mini series they normally do called Alliances. Pretty much all classified at this point. But if you're at all interested in learning about um, what happened um, on Crate in between, you know, the end of um, Last Jedi, what's going to happen with Rise of Skywalker? There's a little bit that's going to happen there with that that little brief time period. So that's what kind of what the miniseries is about, and that's basically all we know at this point. 